What's up, y'all? This is Mike Manzer with another Manzer Faust Productions video. And, uh, yeah, uh, kind of a mess in here today. Uh, kind of jumping on here, really, suddenly. I don't know if I really expected this this soon, even though I did get a confirmation email, uh, you know, last week. But got the, uh, I'll show that, the Severin um, July Summer sale package um real quick too it seems to have left arizona on like fright uh, on saturday i want to say or even monday i don't even know that the tracking is weird lately on everything so who the hell knows but came here quick happy to have it I already made a pretty big dent in the uh, vinegar syndrome package I showed last week. So, that's awesome. Ugh, wow. Alright. It's been a while since I've had uh, these uh, packing peanuts. Not good. <laughs> Great. Love it. Alright. So. I don't know what they package these in and what order, but let's get into it. First up, we got The Creature. This is the newest um, release of theirs by Eloy de la Iglesias. Iglesia, um, who also did Cannibal Man, uh, which I love their release of that. And uh, Cannibal Man's a real great film if you have not watched it. It's kind of a weird, weird vibe, but... Um, yeah, creature. So interested in digging into this. I believe they have a introduction by Gaspar Noy, um, famous for Irreversible and The Void, Climax, those kind of movies. Uh, he's been really getting in on a lot of this. Uh, Eloy uh, de la Glacis, um, Glacia, eh, uh, material um, that. Seven has been releasing, so very cool. Up next, we got the, I believe this is the um, exclusive to the bundle. Uh, well, bundles during the sale. This is uh, Simple like Silver from 2020. Um, this is a big deal because it stars Christina Miralach, uh, Marcelanch, Marcel from Opera, who didn't really do a lot after Opera. Apparently, she didn't have the best experience with it. But, you know, we know why. Uh, but they, they did this as a limited time kind of thing. Looks kind of interesting. More experimental art house, maybe a little avant garde kind of filmmaking. Um, very Italian. Uh, Looks pretty cool. The director is Damien Lacey, Leahy, uh, who did something called Cocaine Angel. I don't know what that is. Um, and also a score by David Wingo. But yeah, just in digging into this, it looks really interesting. So, up next, we got our first slipcover. Um, and actually, they, they seem to be doing the slipcover style as, uh, you know, Vinegar Syndrome and Partner Labels have been doing. It's the same kind of thick uh, cardboard material. Back in the day, these Severin slipcovers, you couldn't even get them off the fucking thing. So it's nice to see that. So this is uh, Don't Change Hands. It's a nice looking slipcover. I like the pink. Definitely stands out. This is a film by Paul Vecchiali. Oh, God, I can't pronounce anything. Some guy called me out in the comments, uh, which, good, go ahead, um, about my pronunciations uh, in the, uh, the uh, Gizem video, um, and I haven't gotten over it since. But, hey, you know what? Call me out on it. I'll do better eventually. Maybe not. Anyway, this is... Uh, Interesting title. I uh, 
It's got an appreciation from Knife Plus Heart, director Jan Gonzalez, and uh, some other cool special features about the film. This is from 1975. It's a French film, sort of a... Uh, oh, God, it's like a... I guess like a kind of neo-noir kind of thing, film noir, um, woman, uh, I don't, like, receives like this, like, film, it turns out to be her son in a pornographic film, and kind of just escalates from there, uh, there's a bunch of crazy stuff going on, a lot of political um, intrigue and stuff like that. So I'm interested in digging into this. Very French, which I'm very down with. So, hell yeah. Very cool. Uh, everyone's kind of excited about this one. Um, I don't know anything about it, but I'm interested in digging into it. Um, we got a bonus feature on here as well. That's kind of interesting. You don't see that with a lot of these... Uh, Severin titles, at least I don't think you do. It's been a while since I bought a lot of them, but uh, blah. we have The Mummy and the Curse of the Jackals. Pretty cool cover. Got the fight scenes. This is from 69. Like, rarely, rarely seen. Um, it's only been on like VHS. That's pretty crazy. Uh, you got a uh, Guys, uh, Anthony Isley from uh, Dracula vs. Frankenstein, which they also released. Um, you got some Herschel Gordon Lewis gore effects, some psychedelia. A lot of cool looking shit. Very um, Las Vegas sort of um, style, too. So this could go well with some of the um, Ray Dennis Steckler material when he was doing um, his mid period work in uh, Vegas. Uh, Las Vegas Strangler and stuff like that. So, yeah, this looks pretty fun. Um, you got a bonus uh, sexploitation film, uh, adult film, uh, Angelica the Young Vixen. Sounds fun. So, yeah, this should be all over the place. Really cool. And it's always cool to see, like, Severin's really digging into, like, the more obscure kind of stuff. Like, these really, like, oddball titles. This one definitely checks in on this um from a director you would not expect to do this kind of material but man this looks fucking awesome the mad bummer from bert i gordon who's more famous for like you know, his giant monster kind of effects kind of films uh bert i gordon big big you know that kind of thing but um yeah this is kind of a lost uh or unsung kind of flick from him more of like uh this is remarkably politically incorrect so that's always fun uh sort of like a uh heist uh urban urban like cop kind of film like that kind of thing it looks way over the top lots of crazy action explosions uh who is in this uh, we got a uh, neville brand that's kind of crazy seeing him in this i know him from a lot of like older kind of films but yeah this this looks pretty cool definitely interested in digging into that as far as features go you got a uh, some interviews you got uh patricia gordon remembers her father so that's probably just like a um kind of feature on uh you got a audio commentary by the writer of house of psychotic women yeah sounds pretty cool um a uh, archival interview audio interview with Bernard gordon yeah. excited to dig into this very different <laughs> Hmm. Up next, I'm trying to remember what this one is. So this is Spanish. Um, from 1978. I believe this is like an early 
post uh, Franco regime kind of uh, I'm guessing drama horror thriller uh, dog called vengeance looks pretty crazy it definitely like political um, kind of uh, messages I don't know I don't know what the fucking word is but uh yeah looks pretty cool you got some like animal attack kind of elements with say have released uh, Day of the Animals and Grizzly uh, kind of fits in with a lot of their kind of um, stuff as far as that's concerned but yeah very very cool looking release I listened to the um, Severin podcast where they broke down everything that they're releasing in this package and it all sounds like really really cool um, so yeah. All right. Up next, another really nice slipcover, man. The Red Light Bandit. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one this is. Really nice artwork on this. This is in Portuguese. So is this Brazilian? Yeah. So this is from Brazil which is very cool. I need to definitely um, work on my Brazilian cinema knowledge. Uh, very like intense black and white. You, again, like some like political, like sort of terrorism, that kind of thing. Definitely fits in with the Mad Bomber that I talked about earlier. So, yeah, very cool. Being from Brazil, you know, it's probably some kind of class, um, kind of statements. This is definitely one I am really excited about having in 4K. Just a blast of a freaking movie. We got 2020 Texas Gladiators, and... I think there's been a Blu-ray of this, but it was a long-ass time ago, and it's been on a print. There's the amazing image. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, graphic violence, rampant nudity. One of these, like, falls into the, like, 2019 after the fall of New York, uh, the new uh, Barbarians, all those kind of um, Castellari films um very cool uh you got uh joe d'amato um oh so it is joe d'amato it's just him under a different name of course uh, his name in this is kevin macuso <laughs> and i don't know it's pretty goofy but uh yeah this is prime d'amato uh just over-the-top, post-apocalyptic, kind of war film kind of stuff. A lot of Mad Max. All that. I am totally into it. Like, Warriors and that kind of stuff as well. So, yeah, this is this is a fucking blast. So, definitely looking forward to checking this out in 4K. You got a nice uh, CD soundtrack with this as well, which is cool. I think it's the first time that was available on CD. Might be wrong. But, you know, correct me if I am. This is amazing. Very amazing. Um, they've been digging into a lot of, like, obscure, like, Italian television. and Stuff, like, that never has been available on physical media. Um, just the lengths that Severin goes through. And, you know, a lot of the other companies, but specifically Severin, with these more obscure, kind of, like, esoteric kind of titles, the, what they go through and all the, like, processes and everything to get these, um, the rights to these films and these prints and just the conversations that go on throughout, it's just insane. So, really pumped at this for uh, Dario Argento's Deep Cuts. 
and this is uh, four discs, man. It is massive. Um, and this is all uh, Dario Argento projects that he had done for Art AI Television, which is like Italian television. So, you know, a lot of this stuff we've never had over in this country. Uh, a lot of stuff from Doors of Darkness. You have a uh, murder mystery kind of anthology called Night Shift. Um, you got uh, a lot of different directors working through this. There's like a variety kind of talk show called uh, Giallo. Um, there's like Dario Argento's Nightmares, which is like all these different um, short, like, anthology films based on uh, Dario Argento's actual nightmares. He uh, horror hosts a lot of this stuff. He curates a lot of it. Very, very cool. The soundtracks to a lot of this, like, the theme song to Doors, of, Doors into Darkness and everything like that. This just looks amazing. I am fucking floored that this came together. Just such an amazing, amazing... Uh, piece to have, um, especially if you're like a Dario Argento diehard. I'm not quite there, but this is very cool. And you got Alberto Bava, um, you got other people working on uh, you know, some of the f uh, segment, the films. Um, man, it's all over the place. You got so many like little obscure. Uh, little like interviews and um, news segments with Dario Argento and everything like that. Just very cool. Very pumped for this. Got to spend a lot of time with that. And finally, finally, probably we talk about Argento. We, a lot of people love to talk about Deep Red, Suspiria. Um, you know, this animal trilogy, uh, some of the 80s stuff. I love all of it, but until the 90s, of course. But, man, this is probably his masterpiece, in my opinion, his opus of sorts. And this is opera. Five disc, giant 4K edition. Um, just insane what is in on this it doesn't list all the um features but man that it's like an old poster image on the back beautiful beautiful i cannot wait to see how this fucking thing looks man because what i love about opera is it's kind of a mashup of the very intense kind of violence of his like 80s material but you also have the, the insane colors and set pieces and everything like that that you would get and get out of something like Suspiria or his uh, even earlier uh, animal trilogy films like it's very much like everything you would want you got a, an amazing like, metal soundtrack and all this kind of craziness going on this is like prime prime fucking Argento and like I would definitely recommend picking this up if you're even into like you know those other Argento films if you're interested at all if you're like a newcomer to fucking Italian horror um people might not recommend this but like man if you really want to dive into like Dara Argento you love like crazy like American horror and stuff from the uh early 80s this definitely would fall into a lot of that you know this this is up there with like demons and stuff is so like my favorite uh like italian um horror that isn't by lucio Fulci or mario baba very cool i am fucking head over heels for this i cannot wait to dig into this and yeah that'll about do it man so yeah i'm gonna follow up um video a bunch of Stop watching listens coming soon. I got through about like, I think I'm up to like 14 or 15 of the Vinegar Syndrome releases. Um, probably gonna break it up into a few videos, uh, trying to get out to uh, 
Wallingford soon to do some record shopping. Uh, I've got a lot, a lot um, of uh, stuff I want to work on coming up. Got some uh, music projects that I'm working on. Maybe I'll come on here and talk about some of that stuff. I don't really know how I do that though because I don't have any physical um, items to show off. So yeah, uh, if you ended up uh, getting anything during the uh, Severn uh, sale a couple weeks ago, I remember they had the um, box set sale on um, Saturday, which looked really cool. And you had a lot of stuff that they're just like holding on to forever that they were discounting up down to like seven fifty, like real dirt cheap. And these are like great fucking releases. So like if you grabbed a bunch of stuff, put it down there in the comments and make some recommendations for some stuff over the last couple of years at uh, Severin or even older stuff that you think fucking rules. Uh, and let's, uh, you know, get everybody involved in this. I want to know some of like the stuff that I've slept on from them because man, it, I've always liked Severn. It's just the last few years, obviously, I've been, uh, you know, distracted by the amount of shit coming out from uh, Vinegar Syndrome. But, man, I'm getting back into Severn from this point on. You know, I'm going to try to keep up with their releases because they're releasing a lot of interesting stuff that you don't typically hear a lot of people talk about. And that's always been kind of what I liked about them is that they take a lot more chances than some of the others. Um... You'd never really know what you're going to get. It's all over the place. Um, and that's the fun of physical media, discovery, and, um, you know, the adventure of digging into this stuff. So, yeah, um, get down there in the comments. Let's talk about this. Did you pick up this, you know, big package? Did you get one of the other uh, packages? I believe there was one that was all just Argento kind of stuff. Very cool. Let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe if you have not done so yet. If you want to find me on social media, I've been on Instagram posting a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, talk about music, talking about kind of like the stuff that I do other than YouTube. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at the Hordes of Manzerfaust. And that'll about do it. Um, hope you guys enjoy these uh couple of unboxings. Um, gonna try to get uh, back into like doing some more like label spotlights and you know that typical kind of stuff that I haven't done much of at all this year but you know we'll see what happens. I'm kind of just playing it loose this year um, so yeah and uh, I love that all of you are still watching still getting good reviews you know still getting solid comments so love the community that I continue to um, receive on this channel. So yeah, uh, my name is Mike Manzer. This has been another Manzer Faust Productions video. And as always, stay fucking metal.